But the point is, you took action, you sued, you got involved. Americans want to know what solutions are. Everybody just start standing up to the feds. We'll win, lose, we'll draw. But we know <laughs> if we lay down, we're going to lose. Uh, go ahead. Well, that's right. And, uh, and listen to this. I mean, this was so well hidden from the public. And Bill Clinton made the media go along with him in making sure that the citizens of this country never heard what this decision really did. Now, listen to this. This is the order of the court. The federal government may neither issue directives requiring the states to even to address particular problems, nor command the state's officers or those of their political subdivisions, and you just, you just addressed what those are, cities and counties, to administer or enforce a federal regulatory program. Such commands are fundamentally incompatible with our constitutional system of dual sovereignty. And what does that say? What, that's a Supreme Court ruling that you never hear about. What does that yeah. say for cap and trade? What does that say uh, with the Fed showing up onshore in Louisiana, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, now Texas, telling county commissioners and sheriffs they can't be on the beach? Some little, some little BP goon. I mean, that's why this stuff's important. Because, yeah. I mean, that's what the 11th Amendment says. You know, you have foreign powers come and buy off presidents and Congress. We've right. got to have state rights so they can't have BP. I mean, what's next? Is BP going to tell us move out of our house? They're going to move in? Next, we got to give our daughters to BP? Like, <laughs> you know, Prima Noctu 600 years ago in England? Yeah, uh, Prima Noctu was, uh, yeah, you're starting to wonder because they're sure raping our land all the time. Now, it, it also says a lot about nationalized socialistic health care, Alex, as you well know. Because if, if the states cannot be forced to participate in a federal regulatory program, then we have 30 states suing right now that don't need to sue at all. All they need to do is, is ask for summary judgment based on our case. This case already proves that nationalized socialistic health care is unconstitutional and the states do not have to go along. And But the Romans knew that roads were key to controlling areas. That's why all roads led to Rome in the old world 2,000 plus years ago. Uh, that's why they brought in NAFTA superhighways and the federal highways. Now they can tax and control those and control the communities. They take our tax money, send it to Washington, then build the roads. It's incredible. Sheriff Mack, amazing. That's why I wanted to go over that key Supreme Court ruling that you got uh, to show the power of the individual, the power of the ruling, and to illustrate the Tenth Amendment. Now we're going to come back and talk about state powers with the borders and everything else, and not just to take over the legislatures, that's our right and duty, but the Sheriff's Department, straight ahead with an American hero, Richard Mack. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth slide into a recession or at worst depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a 
powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Afraid to answer it? Afraid to answer your door? Did you know that debt settlement, bankruptcy, and attorneys will cost you about 10 times more than you would legally be required to pay creditors? These are not ways to help you get out of debt. They are expensive payment plans. And if you're in debt already, does it make sense to load yourself up with another payment plan? Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt in 90 days, guaranteed. And that's the website you need to visit right now. ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt without a payment plan and without attorneys or going to court. ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com is the quickest solution to debt relief on the planet. If you have more than $25,000 in credit card debt, student loans, or difficult mortgage situation, we can help. And we are the only organization to provide written guarantees on the results. Go to ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com. That's ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com. Listen up, folks. This is important. Alex Jones here. Now you can get free shipping on the storable, easy-to-fix, delicious food from eFoodsDirect.com. From July 4th through July 14th, we have looming evacuations in the southeast, unemployment insurance running out, and predictions of huge inflation. So we all need to get as much food as we can. Every one of you needs to buy as much storable food as possible. This is the perfect time to do just that with eFoods Direct and take advantage of their free shipping special. When you order from eFoodsDirect.com from July 4th through July 14th, every dollar you spend will buy the food and eFoods Direct will pay for the shipping in the continental United States. This is Alex Jones wishing you and your family true independence this 4th of July with great food and free shipping through July 14th from eFoodsDirect.com. You can order on the website eFoodsDirect.com or simply call 800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633 or on the web at efoodsdirect.com forward slash ship free. Coming up here in about 35 minutes, Don't Tread on Me, Rise of the Republic is a new documentary film with R.J. Harris, Michael Bagneric, Alex Jones, Richard Mack, Edwin Vieira, Cynthia Davis, Charles Key, and many others. Uh, This film is so important because it really supercharges the Tea Parties and uh, libertarian groups and pro-America organizations that want to save our country from globalism. By illustrating the Ninth and Tenth Amendment, by illustrating the power of the sheriff, by illustrating the power of the state legislature, and how it's our right and duty uh, to stand up for this nation. And the fact that the feds are doing this is treason by every uh, measurement. And so that is available at Infowars.com. Also, the new film, The Secret of Oz, Solutions for a Broken Economy, amazing film by the maker of The Money Masters, Bill Still. This has got a lot of great solutions as well. You want solutions, that's what we're all about at InfoWars.com. All right, Sheriff Mack, this is a short segment, but you've got the floor. Uh, Let's break down uh, your metamorphosis, your awakening to the Tenth Amendment, and that leading you now to be one of the main uh, leaders really carrying the torch of freedom and and, and, uh, having people rediscover the power uh, of the state and particularly the sheriff, another key battlefront uh, that yeah. we're on. Yeah, it is that. And uh, like I say, it's. Uh, I think it's our only hope left. Now, I'm reading from a little pocket-sized brief of the case. And if anybody would like to get that, it's called The Victory for State Sovereignty, the Mac Prince versus USA case. And uh, it's available at my website, and it's uh, sheriffmac.com. You can also get the book, uh, The County Sheriff, America's Last Hope, which everyone should have a copy of both of these. This little booklet that I have in my hand that I'm reviewing with you right now 
regarding this case, uh, the most powerful and monumental Tenth Amendment decision in the history of our country. This was all about states' rights. It talks about the EPA being unconstitutional. It talks about the states not being puppets of the ventriloquist Congress. It talks about the Supremacy Clause, and that is a key component of this whole thing because Barack Obama is saying he wants to sue Arizona on the Supremacy Clause. Well, Justice Scalia already says that the Supremacy Clause does not give the federal government supremacy. It says that the Constitution is supreme, not the federal government, and that's a huge difference. And one of the key components of this case is that the the decision is based on this, and Scalia, who wrote the decision, says this over and over in the decision, and I quote, state legislatures are not subject to federal direction, end quote. So if we are not subject to federal direction, and if we indeed, as this case says, if the states are indeed sovereign, then that means that the federal government is not our boss, they cannot tell us what to do, they cannot issue directives to the states, they cannot control our land, our water, our education, our health care, uh, or anything else that they're trying to shove down our throats. So where do we go to make...